Hey, it's Jeff Walker, and today I want to talk about a topic that's really for the more advanced folks, for the people that have got a real business and a real presence. Although if you're just starting out, this is definitely something to pay attention to. Because, you know, if you've watched a lot of my videos, you know, one of the things I focus on is our mental game as entrepreneurs, our confidence. I'm always seeking to inspire your confidence because the reality is, is that we're, everything we build as entrepreneurs, we first build in our mind. And you have to be confident to be able to create in your mind and then go out and create in the world. So if you're not confident, you know, then you're just not going to be able to create. So confidence is huge. And I keep on pushing that in pretty much every one of these videos. It's like an underlying theme to protect your confidence and build your confidence. But now I want to talk about the flip side. Because um, once you start to grow, it's really easy to forget where you came from. I personally think that humility is, is like a huge competitive advantage. And I always seek to, to remain humble. And um, it's sort of funny because in this way, it's like, sort of like I'm bragging about being humble, but forgive me for that. Because I really do think, I, I think I do a pretty good job at this. Um, but as your presence grow, it grows, as your business grows, you will be more and more surrounded by people that are telling you how awesome you are, how brilliant you are, and then are we going to be reluctant to tell you, you know what, you're screwing up. Um, and, and like my, my friend, old friend, longtime friend, Paul Myers told me long ago, he said, it's okay to read your own press, but you don't want to believe your own press. Because like right now we live in this age of social media where everyone's out there, you know, beating their chest, showing how great they are, how awesome they are, um, you know, putting up photos of their latest beach vacation and, and uh, you know, trying to make themselves look as amazing as possible and just sort of puffing out their chests and saying, yeah, look at me. And you know, that makes sense because you know, the world, people are attracted to winners. And um, you know, in, in your business, you want to be a winner and you want to portray yourself as a winner because that makes you naturally attractive. But something that makes you very unattractive is having a huge ego um, or, or having like fake false humility. Um, makes you very unattractive. It makes you unattractive if you, if you, if you, people start to perceive that you know they forgot you, you forgot where you came from or you forgot who your friends were or, or who your mentors were or how you got where you are. You don't want to do that. It will make you instantly unattractive. You know, as you grow in your business, the you, the relationships you have become more high value. Um, they, and I'm not talking about your relationship like with your, with, with your platform, with your list. You know, I, I talk about that in so many other interviews and you know it's super important. It's something I hit over and over. But what I'm talking about is the, uh, the super high leverage relationships you have that might be with your mentors or um, the other people in your industry, your partners, uh, your, your team members, the leaders of your team. Those relationships, as your business and your presence grows, they become incredibly important. And you don't want to, it's really easy to burn those relationships if you have too huge an ego. And I'm talking about this from experience because I've been in this industry, you know, in my specific niche for, for 10 years now and in this overall on, online industry for 20 years. And I've got to observe a lot of people really screw this up, really blow it, just really like just start to treat people poorly. Because all of a sudden they, they just, they've had enough people around them, surrounding them, telling them how awesome they are. And you know, at, at some level, you have to just check out and say, you know, these, they, they keep telling me I'm awesome, but as your presence grows, it becomes more natural for people to not want to tell you that, hey, Jeff, you screwed that up. And you know, as an aside, when you do have those people, you want to seek to bring those people close, the people that are willing to tell you when you screwed up. Because you will screw up. We all do. I screw up plenty of times. And I, I, I really value the people that will pull me aside and say, you know, Jeff, you know, you, maybe you shouldn't have done that or said that. You know, I remember a few years ago, like one of the times, like when you step off stage, if you're speaking on stage, everyone wants to, they don't, they don't want to be a buzzkill. They want, when you step off stage, they want to say, oh, you did great, you crushed it, you were awesome. And, um, and that's just a natural tendency, like just if you're a speaker and you're stepping off stage. But it's not just when you're a speaker. And I remember actually a few years ago um, when Brendan Burchard, um, you know, I stepped off stage 
And he pulled, you know, he gave me my moment in the sun, gave me, you know, 10 minutes after I was glowing about how awesome I did on stage. And, and uh, you know, and he's like, wow, yeah, you did really good. I liked how you did this, 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 this. And there's one other thing, you, you know, it, and he told me about something that wasn't good or perfect or great about my presentation. And I so valued that because, as, like I said, as your presence grows, it becomes harder to get that, that clear, honest feedback. So I'm not saying it's easy, but you need to stay humble. You need that humility. You don't want to believe your own press. And if you succeed at this, then you've just succeeded that day and you have to show up the next day and the next day and the next day. And this is a, it's, a, it's like yoga or like meditation. It's a constant practice, the practice of humility. And I think if you look at the people that are really achieving in a huge way and have longevity in their, in their industry, those are not the people that are pounding their chest all the time. Yes, they're, they know they're, they're, they're powerful. They know they're, they're successful, but they're also, you know, got a ton of humility. So I'm Jeff Walker. If you're watching this video anywhere else besides on my blog at jeffwalker.com, head on over there. That's where all the goodies are. Um, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, whichever you want. Just give me some reaction. Uh, leave a comment. Scroll down, leave a comment for me. Subscribe to my channel. Like my page. You know all the goodies. And let's go get them this week.